Hi, this is Danielle Dawes for the Alleyway Stamps. Today I'm showing a card that uses negative die cutting as well as one of the new sets background check. So I'm using a heart die here from My Favourite Things and I'm going to be using that to cut a heart out and I'll use this entire front panel for my card. So I'm wanting to create an image behind that cut out heart. Now you'll see I've got a, um, a metal plate there. That's just an extra plate that I use in my Big Shot sandwich to uh, get a much cleaner cut. Uh, I find it works really well for me. So here you see taking off the die and there we've got our die cut out. So I'll use my heart for something else. So here I'm using background check. I'm going to create uh, a background on an entire card front. Um, and I'm using my stamp magic to do this. I really like using the stamp magic because it gives a really precise placement. Um, and it's really easy to use as well. As long as you make sure that you can get it uh, in the right place each time. Um, and with the post-it notes up the top, that's helping to keep my cardstock in place. Uh, as long as you can keep it in the right place each time, it's pretty much guaranteed to line up perfectly. So the ink I'm using there is stays on black ink because I wanted a really crisp black ink um, and stays on always works uh, really well for me. Stays on's also really good if you want to create a permanent uh, stamp magic templates. Uh, although you can't do that with um, with clear stamps because the clear stamps you take off the block after you've finished using them and then your temp your template would be useless after that. But uh, it is fantastic for creating permanent ones if you do decide that you want to do that. So here I'm coming up just to the very final piece of, of stamp majigging. Now I'm actually going to be turning the card around so that um, this is a sideways view at the moment. I wanted that background to have a, a longer kind of look which is why I've put it on the side. Now here's a trick with using a piece of vellum that I've already got cut to the right size for my front panel. So I've, I've used a, a much bigger sheet than I needed to so that I could make sure I got the die cut in the right place. Now I'm using some temporary adhesive to put some vellum over the top and I'll use that as a guide to cut uh, my front panel. It just makes it so much easier and you have far fewer mistakes. Now I also want to put a black mat behind this front panel but I need to have a hole there so that I can see through, uh, through the heart. So instead of cutting a heart out, I'm going to cut something a bit larger, which is this circle. So I've just used a pencil to roughly draw where the heart goes through and then punched out that center bit. It means I don't have to worry about lining everything up perfectly, it's just going to fit. This is another really good um, effective way to put adhesive on the back of a card panel, is to use the double-sided adhesive that has um, a layer on the back that you peel off. And what you do is you peel off just two corners, so two opposite corners. And once I've got those two peeled back, I'll use the alternate corners to um, get my card front in place. So you can see me there just uh, moving it around so that it's in the right spot. When it's in the right spot, I'll press down on the corners that have the, the backing already removed, so they'll be stuck down. And so there's my card front already done, nice and easy. So I'm also going to put some foam squares on the back of this card panel. Um, and you'll also will have noticed that I used um, a sentiment from Jibber Jabber on the front there. And that's my card done. So it's pretty easy techniques, but it can create a really interesting look. Thanks so much for watching.